The Rawlings 10 presents T-Mac in Save That Dude Over There Who's Fallen. T-Mac, T-Mac, that dude over there's fallen. Save him. Let's go. Grab the ball, dude who's fallen. It's the Rawlings 10. It's got more grip. Thanks, T-Mac. No problem, dude who was falling. The Rawlings 10. More grooves, more grip, more game. Stay tuned next time for Save That Cat in the Tree. T-Mac, T-Mac, save me, save me. The NBA body coming into the league. This, this is Tracy McGrady as a senior in high school. That doesn't even resemble the guy that's on the floor. And when he came to the Toronto Raptors and I was there doing their games, he looked exactly like that. It was between the first and second year that he started to put some muscle on. Doc is a guy that is, a, he, he's a player's coach, and he demands that things be done right. And if they're not done right, he's outspoken. Coach Davis is more laid back, more humble, uh, soft-spoken guy. This promises to be the best game of the entire Christmas celebration for the NBA. Tracy McGrady, 46 points the last time he played on Christmas Day a year ago against Detroit. And then LeBron James, who has been on a real chair the last eight games. Into the corner. LeBron with a floater that's good. LeBron James. It's remarkable, LeBron James, just 18 years old, hauled from New York, where he was staying at the time. LeBron James continues to be hot. That's a three-pointer. 27 points a game, 45% shooting. We'll see a lot of zone defense from Johnny Davis's Orlando Magic. Trying to capitalize on their weakness up front. Ilgowskis well, thought he had the block there, but it's the foul. Addition and subtraction help the basketball team. Absolutely, and defense such a key. Brady! <laughs> I mean, goodness gracious <laughs> sakes alive. We, we've seen this, John, throughout this season, that all the other teams have come to play against LeBron. We're going to see that from Tracy today. The steal by Strickland to McGrady. A two-handed jam this time. What electricity in this building. This is spectacular. It hasn't been this loud since they broke the 19-game losing streak against Phoenix. A couple of those are dunks, though. McGrady tries to get Newble in the air. The clerk back to McGrady, jump shot, good. Oh, I think 46 is an conservative <laughs> estimate the way Tracy. And Johnny Davis told us in our pregame meeting that when they see it on Tracy's face, they know just to get out of his way and give it to him every single time. Ron James, jump shot. Oh, sweet. Foot on the line for a two. Comes up with the steal. What a talent. And another jumper. Oh. Rainbow! Oh my goodness! I mean, that thing almost hit the ceiling. It came straight down. How much longer is he going to be playing the early game? I, this is one of the better games I've seen all season long. And we're just getting started. Milkowskis is swatted from behind by the great Trying to fight it up. No whistle. Give it to Brady! Oh my! <laughs> That was a combination of Michael Jordan, Dr. J, and George Gervin on the same play. I, too, can <laughs> finger roll. Hey, Goodman Howard are really playing ball for Johnny Davis. Teron Lou just picks up that foul. Doc Rivers, he needed to be fired. Oh, and James stays hot. That's a three-pointer now. McGrady fighting to get away from Newble. Gets the ball, turns, puts it on the floor, gets a man up, and gets foul. I've seen it all. Drew Gooden bailed out on the play to go pick up his wristband. Generally, when that I saw happens, him lose it. Generally, when that happens, you just let it go and continue the play. You're not going to develop that much new sweat. Kevin O'Neill's done a oh, terrific job there. McGrady turns around with a little rape up on his own. And McGrady has 12. Strickland to McGrady. Nice passing. Oh, great to Jawan Howard. That's a free throw. Oh, what a pushback by McGrady. He makes the defensive play. He gives it up right there. 
LeBron James with a three-pointer answers back. He now has 17. Are you old enough to remember when people said LeBron James couldn't shoot? Strickland out to McGrady. Three-pointer. And that's what Rod Strickland has meant to this team. Somebody else under the basket would never have even seen McGrady. They don't turn the ball over. Paul Silas forced to take a timeout. By finding things slipping away a little bit. LeBron James, another three, that's good! And he had to back up on the release on that. McGrady sees an opening. Watch out. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you can see it in his eyes. He is determined, as we've seen every LeBron opponent this year. Jack just trying to stay with James. Never calming the basketball. <laughs> Easy play to call. <laughs> That's what's called the snake dribble. He could have called it three or four different times there. <laughs> He's doing a great job of finding the open spots in the zone. Uh, you know, our big guys are not rotating out to him, and he's making shots, and uh, we're going to have to make an adjustment in the second half. Uh, just finding my spots uh, out on the perimeter times and uh, driving to the hole, making things happen, praying for my teammates. Once again, we see Ira Nugo coming with tremendous defensive focus and intensity. And McGrady just goes up, hits the jump shot over, and now he has 21. That's how unstoppable he is. Unfortunately for the Magic, they've just got him as their starting center as opposed to their third string center. No! Oh! The lob from the big man, the T, to the guard, James. <laughs> it's supposed to go the other way, isn't it? Things have changed. 22 oh. for him. <laughs> every play. At every time one of them comes down and does something, Magic have missed their last five shots. Although the reason they missed that one was Tony Petit. James, oh. rainbow again. Okay. He can't shoot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible play by Gerichek. Bailed out. Strickland, though, to McGrady, who tries to reverse it. I don't think no, the, either team's going to have anything left to play a fourth quarter. You might have to call this after three. The fans will push them to limits never reached before. But the Celtics are looking long term. That's why they traded him. Oh, did you see, not just the drive, he took that ball like a football and then released it as he got to the basket. But just the patience, the sense of, of, of balance and perspective. And after. And broadcaster. Now that's a tough shot. <laughs> you know, I started to say if that goes. <laughs> For the Cavaliers. Hawley. Shot clock at five now. LeBron James. There's McGrady guarding him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Tracy McGrady just turns back. And smile! And he's calling for it. He's calling <laughs> for it. And get out of his way. All right, folks. If you haven't had enough yet, get ready for the next 11 minutes because McGrady and LeBron James are going to thrill you right now. Everything that Johnny Davis has tried here has worked. Bringing Drew Gooden off the bench, signing Rod Strickland. Watch out. Uh, LeBron James again. He's hit third. Remember when we were talking to Silas about the comparisons of LeBron to Ron Lou to Gooden. Swings it to McGrady. McGrady, tough three. <laughs> and McGrady looks at James with a little point of the finger and says, all right. And LeBron James. Gets fouled. Bogans thought he just tied the ball up. That ended a 7-0 run. McGrady jumps out. And it's another three. Can you count to 40? 46 a year ago. I think he enjoys playing on Christmas Day. LeBron James and 
answers back with a deuce. Remember the exhibition game they had here this summer? Now Ollie on the double team forces a turnover. James gets it down. Juan Howard wisely. They're going to call a clear path to the basket foul. Oh, they are. Well, they have to foul them from behind. And the hey, I've seen. Foul number five, Juan Howard. McGrady backs up. Shoots over Williams. Oh. And it's good. How do you guard? You don't. Know. McGrady backs off Williams. Gooden with the screen. Now has Boozer shooting baseline. And buries a three-pointer. T-Mac is at it again. He dribbled away from the basket. And just jumped up right in front of Paul Silas. He just slumps back in disbelief. In a seven-point lead. <laughs> oh, McGrady. Why not? Still far from Bernard King's record of 60. Remember, Wilt had 59 on Christmas Day back in 1961, 42 years ago. An amazing game on Christmas Day. We're happy we could give you this gift. Once again, our final score. 113 to 101. Uh, because he's running the pick and roll, and uh, they were trapped in the pick and roll, and he's left wide open, and he was able to knock down South Fork. Well, uh, that's what we're playing on Christmas. Uh, you know, he's not surrounded by the hype for nothing. Uh, he's an outstanding player to be 18 years old, and uh, I was just looking forward to the challenge. He came out and did a tremendous job. I don't know, it seems like uh, nothing else is really going on and everybody is watching, especially watching today because they wanted to see the matchup between me and LeBron and, uh, you know, I'd rather be at home with my family, but Merry Christmas to them, but, uh, you know, I don't know what it is about Christmas.